Hey Disney fans, welcome back to my channel. So today, once again, we're gonna sidestep from Disney because there is not much releasing from Disney. And of course, I still have a lot of things to show you guys and a lot of things I wanna review just for my own uh, sake because this is about the only time I get to really look at things. So today we're gonna look at from the Pacific Coast line from Rainbow High, Fader Westward. So stay tuned as we go ahead and look at all of the details that she has, take her out of the box and go over everything. And I definitely wanna know what you guys think. Okay, so as always, we always start with the box first here. So this is the new style box that they gave us for the Pacific Coast line. We do have, I'm gonna bring it in a little closer here on the top, we have the rainbow gradient that we're used to, plastic carry handle, little open window there that you can see the top of Phaedra's head. On this side, we have the accessory pack. Of course, I love how they do this. It's a separate box that comes out. This side, we have the window viewing for Phaedra, as well as a gold embossed palm tree, rainbow high, watch on YouTube. And then we've got some of the characters there at the bottom and their artwork, which I always think is really, really nice. MGA barcode. And then the entire troop on the back cannot wait. The only one I am waiting on right at the moment is Finn. So. Hopefully we can nab him here soon. None of the stores in my area have him yet. I know he's been showing up in a lot of other places, um, but here in the Southwest of Florida, nada. But that's okay. So there you can see at the bottom, meet the students of Pacific Coast High, the most elite fine arts school in the West Coast. Here the, do the days are sunny and the, let's say the classes are poolside and the drama rolls in and out like the tides. So there is her box on this set, of course, it's just another gradient. Um, I love that they do this. And of course we have our, our famous logo here, Collect the Rainbow. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take her out of the box and I'm gonna start just by doing that. I love that you can do that. So stay tuned as I'm gonna get all of her accessories out, including uh, Phaedra herself. Okay, so now we have Phaedra out. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at all of her accessories. We're gonna just dive right in. So first off, she does come with a beach towel just like the other um, Pacific Coast Rainbow High dolls do. Hers says Malibu. It's got a few palm trees on there in silhouette as well as a really pretty sunset. This reminds me of like the 80s and Baywatch. Like it's really kind of funny. Um, it is folded and of course there are little pins in it to keep it folded. Um, I will leave it just like this. Normally the accessories like this, I just kind of toss in a bag and I keep the dolls out on display like this because this just takes up a lot of space. But cool little towel. Obviously, like other Rainbow High dolls, she does come with an interchangeable pair of legs. Um, hers, though, are flat, so that means she has the pointed toe ones on, uh, which is kind of funny because the other ones that I've opened so far have been flat-footed. But So hers, are they flat foot? These do just pop right off. Or those just pop right off, I get and these pop right back on, so no issues there. But she only comes with pointed toe shoes, so you'll have to use a different doll shoes for these legs. And then her next accessory is her sunglasses here so these are pretty fun they have a gradation a gradation there of like gold to pink purple and then of course um gold um well, you know metal <laughs> but it does say rainbow there on the side so like a nice little pair of designer glasses um pretty cute little things i have a really hard time keeping these on the doll's head they seem to just pop off or fall off or something but nonetheless these are still pretty cool i do like them and i love that they match really really well and of course she comes with her rainbow high comb they all come with this this is just like a purple sparkle matches her base um these i actually use these to to brush out some of the product i used it on hers you can still see it is a little kind of goofy going on there i might kind of hack it across the bottom to make it a little more straight uh, but there's her comb and then her final accessory which i think is probably my favorite is her bag so this is her little beach bag it's got um uh, it's just it's beautiful to have the the ombre effect of like purple to pink to gold at the top there it's got two little straps there for holding there is a plastic box in here to kind of keep the shape on it here but you can see just that it's really cool like it's a blue purple on the bottom and it just grows up to that yellow gold there at the top and of course it does say rainbow on both sides there for of course rainbow high so those are her accessories now let's go ahead and take a look at the doll herself so i'm going to go ahead and move her in here now, she is your normal size Rainbow High doll. She's not like the junior high size where they're a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove her from her stand. So let's go ahead and get her off there and I'm gonna bring her in a little bit closer. So like all Rainbow High dolls, she does have rooted hair, rooted eyelashes. I'm gonna get her arm kind of put down there. We're gonna go ahead and take a look here at the top. So you can see there, I love the different colors in the hair. That's such nice gradation. I really, really like this. Nice thick hair. Um, I, I mean, 
I just they, they really give quality hair and they do a very good job of rooting I think on the rainbow high dolls her hair is so heavy it moves her head back um, so we do have it parted in the middle of course tied into her hair is this uh, visor it's kind of a plastic see-through visor it says rainbow there I will leave this attached to her head as I stated in other videos when I had uh, Harper out I detached the hat that was on her head and now I can't get the hat to stay on very well so that's kind of a pain in her hair she does have these uh, gold and black scrunchies if you move it to the side you can see there it just covers the actual um, rubber band that is holding the pigtails her hair is absolutely gorgeous super smooth and shiny it was pretty crunchy i did brush that out there are purple and yellow and blue and pink and magenta and orange strands in her hair i love 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 phaedra's hair i think it's absolutely gorgeous on her face, she does have some baby hairs painted there, and of course, in all the same colors. And then she does have a really beautiful dark purple, kind of a uh, sparkle glitter almost, but no glitter um, eyeshadow painted around her eyes. Glass inset eyes here with the little star shapes in there. I love that touch. I, she just, I love, I love her face. She's really, really pretty. She has a metallic purple lipstick on there. You can see white paint for her teeth. Um, nice thick eyebrows. And then of course she does have her rooted eyelashes like all other Rainbow High dolls. Coming down to the doll's outfit herself. So she is wearing, of course, a one-piece swimsuit because these are all um, at the beach type of deals. So hers is like a reptile skin uh, look here. This is made to look like a zipper, but it's not a real zipper. You can kind of see there, there's an R for rainbow, but then this is just kind of a fake zipper there. Little collar off this uh, shoulder sleeve there. If you turn her around, you'll see it does Velcro in the back. So if you wanted to take it off, you could. It is just a simple Velcro enclosure. She then has this cute little rainbow high swimsuit cover um, that has a tie in the front, very similar to um, Margot de Perla. And this, it just comes off just like that. And then you can see her one piece that she has on there, has some side cuts there um, along the back and along her hip. So, and then of course that just gets right back on there and, and it's back on just like that. Coming down, she does have um, shoes. I will get those here and get them in the light here so you can see them. And I actually, I'm just gonna take one off so we can see it here. So I'm gonna lay Phaedra down. We'll take a quick look here. So it does say rainbow. It is a heel, you can see there, it's got that same kind of boa constrictor look print to it to make it look like it is reptile skin. Super on, uh, super easy on and off slip on there. So a very easy shoe to just pop right back on. Now, like I said, if you do decide to change out her legs though, you will have to find a flat foot shoe for her because those do not come with the doll. So now she does like all other Rainbow High um, dolls. She has fantastic articulation. Of course, her head moves. She's got articulation at the shoulder. We can spin it around. She has great articulation at the elbow and at her hands, which of course have multicolored nail polish on them. Look at that, how cool is that? Um, then of course, uh, she has the same thing on the other arm. On her thigh, she can of course move it back and forth and then we can twist it side to side. Wonderful knee ro um, capabilities there. And uh, that is gonna be it for the, the articulation, of course, on a Phaedra here. So that is the new Pacific Coast um, Rainbow High Doll, Phaedra Westward. So gorgeous, absolutely love this one. Uh, I cannot wait to add more of these to my collection. I have all of them except for Finn, and my buddy says he's sending me Finn, so hopefully uh, that happens here soon. But, um, I, uh, I'm really looking forward to going over the rest of these because they're still sitting in their boxes waiting to be unboxed. So, but she is just absolutely stunning. I love her skin tone. I love her face paint. I love her outfit, but I absolutely love her hair. I mean, look at that. So, so gorgeous. Alrighty guys, well, that's gonna do it for my review of her today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned as I will be reviewing more Rainbow High coming up uh, since Disney is kind of just on the back burner, I guess at this point, while we wait for Aurora to um, release here. I'm sure we'll get some information soon on that, I would think, because March is just around the corner and usually we get $1 a month from Disney at this point. Or at least that was supposed to be how it went. So we shall see. 
But anyhow, yes. Yeah, so any comments, questions, leave them down below. I will uh, keep posting these as I uh, get to them. I'm trying to do as many as I can here to kind of, you know, get them out there, get them out of their boxes so that I can enjoy them too. So hopefully it's about one a day here uh, until I get them all out. And then of course, more will probably release and I'll be starting up on those ones too. My Rainbow High Collection is growing and quickly. <laughs> Alrighty guys. Well, like I said, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having an extra magical day and we will see you real soon.